Hey guys, welcome back to another one of our Facebook Live Q&As. Today we are going to be doing the Mud Buddy HDR40 EFI. Uh, we really we did it last week, but we really wanted to show you this week what it can do on the water, um, the difference with it, everything. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and have Micah talk a little bit about the motor, some of the great benefits about it, also what are the differences between the 40 and the 37. Okay, so this is the new 40. Um, it has some upgrades compared to the 37. It's got three more horsepower, so you're going to gain more power, more of a load carrying beast. And uh, it comes with a stainless steel muffler. The block on this new 40 is actually reinforced. So it's got a little bit different design, a little stronger block. Um, power wise, uh, it's probably going to be the, the 37 is probably going to not exist anymore after we start selling these 40s. I think they're they're gonna take their place from the 37s, and um, this this is on the new HDR. It's got the full reverse. Uh, comes with the three blade Raptor prop and uh, four neutral reverse. So it's a, a really user friendly motor. Um, the weight on it it's, it's about the same as the 37. There's not much difference in weight there, so that's always a good thing for boats. And uh, got a little bit more extra power on it, so. Um, other than that, it's a, it's going to be a fun motor. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the camera from our camera guy, Jeff. And we're going to go ahead and take it out, let you guys check it out with Keith and I and Micah. And I'll show you what you can do. And then we'll come back in and then what we can do after that is we'll go ahead and answer some questions that everyone might have at that point. Um, we are out on the lake, so if, the, if it gets a little fuzzy, you know, we'll come back straight with you guys. So let's go ahead and get this thing fired up and take it out here. And we'll have uh, Jeff do a wave here with Ambry, huh? All right, we got Keith here. Got the new trim on the grab bar here. It works great. We got the Love new it. trim on the grab bar. Yeah. It's a good option to get for sure. Got it in reverse right now. We're just idling, see? And it just goes wherever you want it to go. Even in the mud, if you're stuck, you can put it in reverse and help it get in and out of there. So what do you think about the motor, Keith? Uh, so far, so good. Kind of wait to see what it does out on the water. Yeah. You know? No, we took it out last week and we had a blast with it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember we being on the yeah. boat uh, or me anyway. Right. Mike, it looks like the handle needs to be a little bit higher for a taller guy. Yeah. 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 Well, I can pull it up. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Nice floater. Yeah. Hard on a tall guy when you got the handle down by your Well, knee. the grab bar is where I'm kind of leaning down on. That's for when you I got like that speed grab going. Bar, though. <laughs> They're a lifesaver. Little bit different than when the last time I was out here when we were doing the last probably I think two weeks into the hunt where it was pretty frozen and we were shooting ducks in the shallow water. Uh -huh. Now this is a pretty shallow lake. It doesn't get more than 20 feet deep on them. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of mud in this, rocks. And the mud's real thick gravel. here too. Yeah. And I found out the mud's really bad on in certain parts when you're trying to walk with decoys right. and shotgun and yeah. everything else you need for the day but yeah. oh well it was fun had a good shoot yeah, yep
Yeah, that can't real bleed. smooth, easy to steer. Real smooth. I was actually, I'm amazed. Every time I get out on this thing, it's freaking amazing. And we got our crew over there checking us out. Got little Robin, the new retriever, by eight weeks old. Robin. Yeah. <laughs> Just sitting there looking pretty. Oh, trying to go somewhere. Awesome, so we had some questions pop in here. Um, let me pull out my little phone here, or Jeff, if you want to shoot them out. Uh, but oh, let me pull it up here. here real quick and I'll be able to answer them for you. That thing's awesome, man. Uh, awesome. We've got a lot of fun. Ernest yeah. Cardona says, sup guys. How's hey, going? Ernest, how are you? Chris York, y'all need life jackets. Hey, life jackets them. are in the yeah. boat, bro. You are in the we're, boat. We're safe. Yeah. Um, Jerry Vickery, wow, how fast are they going? It's hard to say. Yeah, we we, we we didn't GPS it, but we're going well over 28, and uh, this is at uh, pretty high elevation. So. And we are on the Excel F86, which is a thicker hole, and it weighs more than the yeah. re the regular F4 boats. Right. Um, but obviously, you can see we have three guys here. Um, the gunner rails and everything's filled up with stuff in it. Um, so I mean, yeah, I'm just guessing, and I don't know for sure, you know, how fast. But. Yeah, uh, Dominic Walker says runs good with good throttle response. Oh yeah, yeah. nice. A Becca yeah, triplet put well the driver is part of why it's so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the driver. <laughs> yeah. uh, Stan Shaw asks again how fast and what boat. So okay. once again, this is the XL F86. Um, it's a heavier boat than the F4. It's thicker. Um, and then how fast we weren't GPSing it, but Micah, you gave an, a rough estimate. Right around 28 or so. Yeah, yeah. easily. Yeah, I mean, you could put a lot more weight in this boat, and it's going to slow down a little bit, but it's still hauling. So that's what's nice about these new EFIs. They got a lot of torque on them. So th once again, this is the brand new HDR40 EFI. Um, and for the people that are just joining on, Micah, can you go over some of the great benefits about the 40? Okay, so this is the brand new 40 EFI. It's a fuel injected motor. Um, it's a uh, it's 40 horse, so it's 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 about three horsepower more than the 37 was. Um, it's got a different designed block in it, so the block's actually reinforced. Um, a little bit thicker is what they did, and uh, comes with a stainless steel muffler on it. Um, 50 amp charging system and it's just a, a overall really nice refined motor over the years Vanguard's just done a lot to these motors and they're they're coming along just fine and I this is the best one yet you know so far so um, that's okay. what uh, that's what's going to take over the 37 <laughs> so what's the um, so the price point, Keith, what, where are we looking at price point for the new HDR40 EFI? The new 40 price point's $88.95. That's suggested retail. Then you got shipping on top of that. One thing nice, too, about the Briggs motor being it's a stock 40, it's got a three-year Briggs & Stratton warranty, so that really makes it appealing, you know? A little more horsepower than the 37 and still has the, uh, the full three-year warranty, which is nice, you know, so. To me, personally, it... I would definitely go over the 40 than the 37. Oh, yeah. Any day. I mean, there's no comparison for me. No. Even yeah. the reinforced well, block, everything, for, it's a stronger motor. Just for the extra few hundred, it's it's a no-brainer. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah. the horsepower is worth the money. Mm -hmm. And so what type of exhaust comes with HDR, uh, Micah? The, this one here, the stock 40s, they come with the, it's all stainless steel. It's a stock muffler. It's got a heat shield on it. And they're not noisy. You know, they're, they're pretty quiet. Um, Mainly what you hear is more prop noise, you know, so they're not loud boats at all. Um, 
that's you know it makes it nice not having to scare everything away you know <laughs> exactly <laughs> but, you know uh, going into the timber you don't want to scare everything right. away yeah a, a guy can upgrade their muffler to a q muffler you know and um that would give them a little bit more power but um they're not too noisy either so you know that's always an option but they come with the stock stainless so <laughs> awesome. that's a good muffler yeah awesome uh, um brent brent durston says you all need to get a real job uh, <laughs> we're working on it we're trying we're trying <laughs> I'm trying to become a pro staff, so <laughs> but anyone can do that. Yeah. Um, Stan Shaw, what's the boat length? This I, is an 18 foot. Yeah. yeah. 18. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's actually um, 20 feet with the hunt deck. So yeah. the, the hunt deck adds another two feet. Um, Jeff Zemlong asks, how will it handle in rough water? Good. Yeah, these boats handle. They got high sides. Um, the modified V's, you know, help out for choppy water and stuff like that. But well, and you it's can, full of flotation, this whole boat. You can't sink this boat. No. You could fill it up with water, and it's not going to sink. Well, I mean, you could go to YouTube. There's guys out in the craziest, choppiest waters with the same exact boat, right. and they're just no yeah. problem at all going no. right through it. Yeah. Um, even with the motors, too, though, it handles great in the rough water. Yeah, it would take a, a lot to fill it up. Uh, Asher Bagley asks, does it haul loads better than the 37? Oh yeah, yeah, it's definitely got more torque. <laughs> Easily. So, yeah, so that's that's what the, the greatest thing about this motor is, is it will haul a heavier load. Excellent. Uh, Pat Paulson asks, does it have reverse? Yes. 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 This is the HDR. All the HDRs come with reverse, neutral and forward. Um, so they're really easy to use. Um, okay, Brad Betton asks, how much is that whole set? If you're looking boat and motor. The whole package. Well, best thing you can do right there if you're trying to get the boat and motor is go ahead and call in to Mud Buddy. Or you can email Clint, which is clinth at mudbuddy.com, uh, and he can actually answer those questions for you. Or you can actually just go to your dealer page, find your local dealer, and they'll be able to help assist you with that. Excellent. Um, Mike, I'm not sure if you were just like the most famous person, but Deborah Tuck asks, who's that good looking guy, Micah? Wow. And intelligent too. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. You mistaken Jason, not Micah. <laughs> I need to start getting my fans on this thing. <laughs> All right, so we've got a question. Daniel Uter asks, what's the difference between this and the 44 EFI? Well, the 44's just got more power, you know, so um, other than that, the difference, you know, this has got the the heavier duty block on it, which is a um, pretty big deal, but um, other than that, this is, it's a couple, this one's a couple more horsepower than the 37. Excellent. Um, go over the price again. I had a couple of price questions come price, in. Price on this motor suggested retails $88.95. It's about $400 more than the 37 EFI. But uh, the 400 bucks is well worth the power, the, the more power you get out of it. We're right? getting more power, reinforced block with it, you're getting a stronger engine with it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer to me personally. Yeah. Everybody wants to go fast, and yeah. this will do it right out of the oh, box. They want to haul heavy loads. Well, yeah. that's, you especially know, the duck hunters, you have uh, 10, 10 dozen yeah. decoys, you know, and a yeah. dog and three dudes with you, you need a strong motor. Um, Brad Benton asks about um, a dealer in northern Wisconsin. Um, go to our dealer page. If you don't see one there, you can. Um, if you're on the Mud Buddy page, you can contact Clint at Clint H at MudBuddy.com. Or if you're on the Excel, you can go ahead and contact Dave at ExcelBoats.net. Andy Johnston writes, pretty sure it's illegal to be on that boat and not have a fishing pole in one hand. Uh, sorry, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> we left our fishing poles at home. It's funny. Yeah. We did mention that on the way down. I was like, why didn't we bring our fishing pole? I almost brought my ice fishing pole, but I thought you guys would have laughed at me. So, <laughs> How's the fishing there in Louisiana? I know uh, Clint had a good time. Oh, I'm sure it's good. <laughs> um, let's see. I... Tanner Lazowski asks, is it a different block than the 37? Yes. yes. Yep. yep. Different it's block. A... Excellent. Lance Cook wants you to fire it up one more time. Okay. Yeah, let's kick that thing on. Yeah. It's going to cost you <laughs> All right, 
So we're going to go ahead and end it here for you guys. If you guys are looking to get one, make sure to go to the dealer page. Also on Facebook, bottom left-hand corner, it will say um, locations. You can click on that, find a local dealer, or once again, you can get a hold of Clint at clinth at mudbuddy.com. Or if you're going to Excel Boats and you're interested in the boat, go to uh, excelboats.net. You can go to the dealer page or email Dave at Dave at excelboats.net. Once again, thanks for joining us, and you guys have thanks, a great guys. week. See you later. Be safe. We're going to have some fun. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>